So three baits that catch a pile of fish with this sharp shooting or forward facing sonar technology. Yeah, fish on. That's Come here, buddy. Oh yeah. Right there. Deadly technique that pairs incredibly well with something like forward facing sonar. Good. As it gets for summertime walleye fishing in the north. Check, check, check. Got audio? I hope so. It's always just a little bit of a who knows situation every time you start a video and you're like, ah, hopefully the cameras are working, right? What is going on guys today? We are back with another video. I haven't seen you guys in a little bit. Took a little 4th of July festivities break. Um, and it was, you know, my season's kind of broke up into, two, you know, two halves. And the first half is from whenever I step into a boat, which is like mid-February until the 4th of July. The second half starts after the 4th of July and goes till the end, right? It's kind of a long season, but we love it, right? So today, wasn't really sure what to film. Got another day or two maybe at home before I got to hit the road for some actual business stuff. And then I can come back to doing the fun part of the job, which is traveling, fishing, all that kind of stuff. So got one kind of random day at home here. I was like, what should I film? really gone full-on summer since last time I saw you guys water temps are in the mid 70s now I always think of midsummer as 4th of July to Labor Day right so really wanted to touch on you guys read the title of this video my three must-have summer walleye fishing lures now I filmed videos like this in the past like a bunch of years ago I'd film a bunch of stuff like this all the time and one thing I realized is that as technology changes the way we fish changes, the way we use certain techniques changes. We might weed some techniques out that require too much covering water and not enough time focusing on where fish are. As our ability to see fish better, whether that's through side imaging, whether that's through Hummingbird Mega Live or whatever forward facing you have, as that stuff gets better and better, it allows us to fish a different way. It allows us to sharpshoot fish a lot more. So a lot of times the presentations that I lean on very heavy throughout the seasons, especially in midsummer when you have fish a lot more scattered out, are presentations that allow me to sharpshoot fish very well. So maybe we'll just, I don't know, should we just already just dive into it, huh? How about that? I mean, this isn't some production professional level of stuff here, right? Basically, I got three rods rigged up up here. These are my favorite three sharpshooting presentations. And we're gonna catch a fish or a couple of fish on each of these, you know, in the next hour or so, and kind of tell you guys what I like about them. So you guys, so you guys can kind of see the process and how I'm fishing these lures. Not just like, oh yeah, spinner rigs are great in the middle of summer because the fish love to eat a crawler on a spinner rig, right? We all know that. But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up here on the bow and we're gonna kind of showcase each of these presentations and we're gonna run the mega live so you guys can kind of see what we're looking at and all that kind of stuff still get questions in every video what mount this is I link it down below in every single one that is the TKI Inc uh, mega live or you know mount plus holder plus pole all that kind of stuff very rock solid option if you're a walleye guy like me who likes it on a pole and likes it in the front of the boat so essentially we're gonna get some encoded down here we're gonna chew up some water and kind of show you guys the process here because you know from five years ago till now the baits that i like to fish and how i like to fish them has changed a lot so three baits that catch a pile of fish with this sharp shooting or forward facing sonar technology the first one is hands down one of the fa my favorite probably one of the most productive ways which i've ever fished for a walleye is this bait right here this is the kalen's search bait it's a jig it's a spinner rig it's a slow death rig it is whatever you want it to be right this is the 3a size i'll link them down below they're wildly popular right now for good reason this one has some custom Tom Boley Sharpie on there, which you can choose or not choose to put that on there. <laughs> but I'll link this down below. Check your retailers, check wherever you can find them. I, my mind is, you know, this a lot of times, I got one comment the other day that said something to the effect of like, oh, it sounds like a sales pitch for a Kalen search bait. It's a sales pitch for maybe the most versatile bait I've ever fished in the summertime. But essentially what this bait can do 
is it's a spinner rig that you can sharpshoot fish with. It gets rid of a lot of this trolling application stuff, which a lot of us do in the summer, and paired with forward-facing sonar, I can cast this out to fish in depths of 20, 25 feet, slowly reel it back, and fish absolutely love to bite this bait. So as you guys know watching this channel, you could fish this a bunch of different ways with a, a fake crawler, a real crawler, whatever it might be. We're just gonna rig up a, a real crawler on here now i do some smaller tweaks to this bait and we put out some really good content on that on the walleye now app it's available obviously on google play and the app store where it kind of goes into all the little tiny little rigging things i do that i think make a, a difference and make this bait just unbelievably effective but um find that on where is it at so you got to click on let's go fish at the bottom of the page and then you're going to click on the summer and then it'll be under presentation but that is how we're going to fish it today with just that half crawler on there and we'll jump up on the bow and essentially what we're going to do is use that forward facing sonar to see a fish or several fish in a straight line we're going to cast this bait straight to them and then reel it back very slow Yeah, right there. That didn't take too terribly long, huh? Pretty much right off the bat. And you guys can see I kind of, you know, let that bait get way down there into the bottom. Nice walleye here. Nice walleye. And then I kind of engage the reel. For some of these fish that are, you know, down deep, 20, 21 feet like we're in now, and on the bottom, I just like to let that bait hit bottom. Now there's plenty of times we'll fish this bait for fish that are, you know, suspended in the water column. Then obviously, you, you know, if you're fishing 35 feet of water and the fish are all 15 feet down, there's no need to let them get all the way down in there. But there we go, there's one on the search bait. And that bait is very effective for a couple of reasons when you're, you know, doing this whole sharpshooting thing. Number one, you can fish it at any different depth, right? So you don't have to be on the bottom. You can fish it fast in five feet of water. You could fish it deep and let it touch the bottom. You can pull it for suspended fish, and that's a very unique thing where, you know, some of those fish might be halfway down in the water column, and it's not like a, you know, a jig maybe where you have to like crawl that thing on the bottom or a lindy rig where you kind of got to like be touching bottom. It's a bait that can be fished linearly for suspended fish as well. And there we go. There's a perfect one right there. And one key, he's all kind of chewed up though. Kind of bizarre. He's got like sores on him or something. We'll just let him go real quick here. And one thing you'll see that makes all of these baits productive is it doesn't take a ton of movement to get bit. Now we might go to the hyper rattle and say, wow, that takes a lot of movement to get bit. But um, in reality, what it really is, is, you know, it's not like a crankbait where a bait has to move very quickly along a plane to have action. You can move these search baits extremely slow and that's one, and kind of interact with the fish. And that's one reason that they fish so well for the style of fishing. Right there. That's feeling big. That's feeling big. If it is even a walleye. Hard for me to put that search bait down. Oh yeah, look at him, man. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about right there. That is what I'm talking about right there. That is a super nice fish. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Oh, we don't want to wrap you up in that. We'll scoop you up over here. That is a nice walleye right there. That bait is just something else, man. It's unbelievable how fish want to eat that thing. 
it's like you did, it's seriously hard when I say it to not throw it because if you're not throwing it you feel like you're missing out but let me grab this fish out of here I'll show you guys him this is a real solid one what's he got going on is he already off or do we got the line through the mouth situation oh he's already off nice there we go man that is as good as it gets for summertime walleye fishing in the north woods right there we'll take them like that huh let's let that guy go that is a good one see you later girl back to the depths still got my crawler out of that one still got the crawler that is the deal right there man very very productive way to fish all right you guys presentation number two in which i like to fish a lot for a lot of this sharp shooting style of fishing is a drop shot now a drop shot is a presentation that is literally made up of a weight and then a little bit farther up the line a hook very simple presentation people have been fishing with a weight and a hook since before all of us were alive right but essentially what this lets you do this is not like a search bait where you cast and reel this is not like the third offering which is going to be a big heavy you know a hyper rattle this is a presentation in which you cast out and you almost leave it there now what's the difference between this and like a slip bobber you couldn't you say well you could fish a slip bobber one disadvantage you have in a slip bobber is as you cast it out that thing's naturally going to move or drift with wind it also has to go out and then the line slides through the bobber which naturally takes time and then it sets up with a drop shot, I can go with like a half ounce, a three eighths ounce, a three quarter ounce, a one ounce weight on the bottom of here. And this is just gonna rifle to the bottom. And when that sticks in the bottom, I know that my bait's right around a fish because obviously I'm seeing them on the forward facing, I'm just casting at them. And I almost just leave that presentation there and work it very slowly. Now you can put an artificial you know, leech on here. You can put a fake crawler on here, a fake worm imitation. Um, or you could put a real leech, a minnow, or a crawler. Today we're just gonna put a night crawler on here and see if we can just pop a couple fish real quick, casting directly at them with the Mega Live. Right there. <laughs> oh, were we rolling on this? Oh, we were. You guys can see that pot of fish out there. And that is the drop shot, man. Drop shot is so good at catching fish once you have their location dialed, especially if they want something just that kind of hangs in their face. And whether you're presenting, you know, a plastic, an artificial, you know, crawler, or leech, or minnow bait or something or whether you're presenting a piece of live bait. It's one of the few presentations that you could basically cast it out and just work it really without moving the bait closer to you, right? You almost just, cause when you, and you see a lot of people when they start fishing a drop shot, at least some, you know, I have someone come out that maybe doesn't do a lot of walleye fishing or something. And they cast the drop shot out and they're almost like reeling it the whole time. And you're like, no, we already know exactly where the fish is. So there's no real point to like try to move the bait around a whole bunch, right? This thing is so wrapped in line, it is absurd. It is absolutely absurd. Let's get you off of here, buddy. I'm trying to get him off without getting my hands stuck in this Chinese finger trap here of line. Oh, we almost got hooked for a second. There we go. There we go. Drop shot walleye. Hook, weight, bait. Can't be any simpler than that really right there. But really, it's it's basically if fish are real negative or neutral, it's the slowest thing you can possibly fish, right? Because you can literally see right where those fish are, put it on top of them, and just kind of basically half the time I'm fishing this, I'm just going between a tight line so I can feel if I have a bite and a slack line. And that's almost all I'm doing. Bites aren't going to be like, boom, there's one. Bites are just going to be a mush rod tip, and you're going to feel that thing kind of doing that on there a little bit. So there we go. First cast with a drop shot and a fish in the boat.
right there. That didn't take too long on the old drop shot, eh? Nice pot of fish just sitting around one good rock down there. And there we go, just like that. One, two, that's a real nice walleye right there. A couple real nice fish on the drop shot without too much effort. And you quickly see, you know, why that presentation works so well, paired with something like forward facing or just any of this technology lets you see fish a lot better than you used to. Come here, bud. Come here, buddy. Let's get you on in. Just putting a little chunk of a crawler on there. And just like that, they're eating it. Anytime you're drop shotting or fishing some kind of like finesse, finesse live bait rig for walleyes, I like something seven foot plus as far as a rod goes and a softer tip on there. So this one is a 7.4 medium light fast action. It's actually called the rig and jig rod from, I'll link it down in the description. It's an Elliott identity series rod. Kind of one that's meant for fishing kind of finesse tactics like this. I have to grab our pliers quick just to get them off. Oh, there's our pliers right there. There we go, just like that. Drop shot and walleyes. Deadly technique that pairs incredibly well with something like forward facing sonar. All right, you guys, now it is time to move on to the last style of bait in which we're gonna fish today. One of my favorite sharp shooting style baits in the summer, the Acme Hyper Rattle. Comes in a bunch of different sizes and colors. I like the two biggest sizes most of the time. If I'm fishing clear water, I love my purples and things of that nature. But basically all summer long, I travel around with this box somewhere in here, right? <laughs> Generally pretty heavily loaded down on purple colors. But what I like to do is fish the two biggest ones this time of year, which is one's a full ounce right here, and then one's just a little bit under that. We're fishing for some pretty pressured Northern Wisconsin fish today. So I like this little bit smaller size. It lets me kind of get a little bit more floaty with it and do some different things, but both are very good this time of year. Now the premise of this bait is obviously it's just a big heavy chunk of lead with a tail fin on it. Now before what we do is when fish got out on a lot of this deep rock, we would drive around with the big motor and wait till we marked fish on 2D and then drop baits directly in them. Now, as a lot of these fish got more pressured and more pressured, one thing you saw happening is you couldn't drive over fish and get them to bite. Because by the time you drove over them, even in 20, 25 feet of water, those fish were busting, right? It was like, you know, they were just getting very accustomed to this, you know, motor, baits, you know, and that's what happens on a lot of the small pressured water. With something like forward facing live, it lets us obviously get up on the bow on the trolling motor and make pitches to fish. Now, if you're gonna run side imaging in a big rock flat, you're not gonna see a whole lot of walleyes in there. If you run forward facing Hummingbird Mega Live on a rock flat, you're gonna see all those fish that are sitting up off the bottom, right? And <clears throat> that kind of lets us make a lot of these short range pitches with that bait to fish. So the way we're fishing, it changes a little bit. And uh, that's kind of the main thing. But why is this bait pair so well with like a forward facing or sharp shooting style? Because it gets down to the fish very fast. So let's jump up to the bow. See if we can't catch one on the old hyper rattle to wrap things up. right there fish out I think we're rolling everything oh there we go we're completing the three top summer walleye baits with a really nice fish right here on one of the funnest baits to fish in the summertime <laughs> the hyper rattle a big chunk of lead let me spot lock us down here and you guys could kind of see, I just kind of cast it at a loner fish on the graph and he kind of shot right into the bottom right away. That's a pretty typical thing you'll see out of these fish, especially when they start tracking that bait. And a lot of times you'll pitch that big heavy bait out, shoots down to the bottom and it's a big trigger. Those fish will just boom right into the bottom, chasing that thing down. And then you kind of start cracking it back to the boat like that. <laughs> nice fish right there, huh? Probably 21, 
maybe 22 incher beautiful golden northwoods walleye right there but that's kind of the deal man and that bait that i caught that fish on is just that little purple descent hyper rattle now one of the secrets with this bait is uh or one of the things that makes it so good for this style of fishing is it gets especially in summer where you generally have fish in a little bit deeper water it gets down to the fish so fast right because it's such a heavy piece of lead and then essentially you're almost snapping it in place you know it kind of slowly progressively works its way back to you but with that presentation right there it's very good at pinpoint casting fish in deeper water well i think that's going to kind of do it for this video three presentations that i rely on super heavy in the summertime for this sharp shooting technique definitely one of my favorite ones and one that i seem to not be able to take off everywhere i go right now oh we got rod entanglements Kalen's search bait. That one's got some custom Tomboli Sharpie marks on it, <laughs> which you guys can add too. Works very well casted. You can fish it very slow. Very good pretty much at any depth. You can pair it with any kind of live bait or fish and artificial. The other one would obviously be a drop shot for those fish that a lot of times might be really slow moving. Heavy weight on the end. Hook several feet up piece of live bait or plastic as well and then obviously the hyper rattle which you're a little bit more snap jigging you know very a little bit more aggressively hunting those fish but three presentations that kind of pair well with a lot of our electronics that we have now as electronics change as technology changes a lot of times the style we fish changes and that is definitely the case with these three presentations so appreciate you guys watching this one for a ton of tips i guess on these baits or you know a lot of times how i like to rig them the rods and all these kind of things really in-depth stuff um, to get you guys really dialed in we have so much content in midsummer on the wall right now i have to click let's go fishing at the bottom of the page click on summer and then get under your favorite body of water and there's a ton of presentation tips on there but hope you guys are catching some fish I got to get home, scoot out of town here in a couple days for a, a business trip, and then I'll be back on a boat for doing my favorite kind of business, which is just fishing. But appreciate you guys watching this one. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.